Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to create the tables and thereafter how to insert the record inside the tables and thereafter how to date the tables uh, using my MySQL workbench. So to create the tables, we can use two ways, first is by graphically and next way by query. So first I am going to discuss about how to create the tables by graphically. To create the tables graphically, right click in the tables and here I am using or DW underscore dev is my uh, schema or database. So let's create add here, right click and hereafter create tables. So two options we have, first is create table and create table line. So this option I will discuss later. So let's see first or uh, this option create table. And hereafter give the table name. So add here I am going to give the table name employee. And hereafter, this is the cat side. And here, and hereafter, let's go to click on arrow. And here, you you can add the multiple columns. So let's add here some columns. So add here first column. I'm going to write ID. So ID must be integer type. And here, this should be primary key. So primary key and not null. Here after entering name. Name should be backer and here this should be a prime not be a primary key, not be a null. So if you pull, if you wanna set add here, not null, you can enter. Now here after uh, you can write add here a CT. So this will be back and here after next is phone number. So phone number here. So phone number must be integer type. So let's select and here integer and here after phone number you can enter join or join date. So join date must be date time. So right click here after you get data. Select this option. So this is the column that I added. Now if you want to give the error default expression description about the table here you can give and if you want to set the unique key you can set add here. So this way first way ready to get the uh, tables. So here after let's click on apply. I'm getting the message the server is uh, names equal to one so which is our lower case let's click on ok so here I can't give add here offer case employee here that will accept employee let's click on ok so this, this is the uh, query that uh, generated by ask my ask here so query table so this is a dw underscore dev or database and your employee table name and here this is the columns and primary key on id so let's click on apply and here after click on finish now see at your employee table it's created here employee table created here now here after you can insert the some records into the employee so right click there and here after click on uh, select row limit 300 so see at here, this is the query executed and here let's insert some record. So at here I'm going to give an yeah, ID or uh, triple one and your name uh, Sam and your city or uh, Cardiff here phone number double nine double eight join date. So I'm giving a uh, zero or uh, zero eight. 07 and here 2018. So you can add multiple. So multiple row you can enter at here. Let's enter 112 and here Sam. This time going to enter Hasi and your city Manchester and here after let's enter. The value of one and here given the join date 09 or 07 2017. 
So this is the way we can create the table and uh, enter the record inside or the table. So this is the first way. Now let's see another way to create the table. So at here I'm using at your DW there. So let's uh, write one query to create the tables. So at here write create our table. And here dpt number and here writing dpt number this should be integer time and giving the size and here 7 and here it must be primary key so about the primary key and unique key I will discuss in my later video so next is first name And here, this would be var cat var cat 66. So this uh, you can enter now also at primary uh, first name. Now here, right last name. So last name var cat and give the size 66. You can give any value at here. So this must not be null. So write not null here after email. Email where and here give the size 55 and this must not be null. And here after join underscore date. Join date. So add here this should be time as time. Now here after this is a create a statement, let's uh, create the table, I execute here. So here after let's see the output scheme. So see at a create table, dpt number, it's created here. Now here after I'm going to replace. So table created dpt number. So here this is the column inside the dpt number. Now let's uh, insert the record inside the dpt number. So at here insert into give the table name dpt number and here after values. So values at here first is no dpt number. So at here give 10 name at here. So name at here Sam and last name. I see and here email a at the rate gmail.com and here after time stamp so time and here or zero nine and here zero seven and here two thousand At your insert into DPT number value is 10 or Sam Hussey and this is the date. So when I try to enter uh, date this format and this format here, so I'm getting the error. So at here uh, to enter the date in my SQL, so you have to first enter year, next or uh, month here after date. So this is the way we can enter. So let's enter one more. At here 16 and let's uh, execute the query. So at here I'm getting the error message because so uh, related to primary key on or uh, db number. So let's change the at here here 20 and execute. So at here insert into value this insert effect. Now here after I'm using dpt number table and here after let's uh, uh, refresh the table. And here after uh, select 
20. So see that here, this is the record that to insert it here. Or Dan or Sam Hussey at the at the rate gmail.com. So this is the date. Here date bit number 20. So this is the way we can insert the records and create the tables uh, in MySQL. And here after you know create the tables, so right to so simply right click and you have to click on or draw. So click on draw. So click on draw, here have to drop now. So see how to the table deleted. So right here if you want to draw a DPT number, so right click or draw table. And you have to give the table name DPT number and execute the query. So drop table. So add your table dropped successfully. So we add here in my SQL everything we can do by two ways. First is graphically and next is by query. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.